looks good. And I'm not going to get the van stuck. Here's the van. So uh, what I'll do, I'll get the bed out. And uh, now this mattress is light, it's easy manageable, and it folds out. It's one of these Z-type mattresses. Um, <laughs> and uh, it fits across it. The advantage I've got being 5'8", five, 5'9", five, um, is the fact I can sleep. Me and the wife can sleep across the van. Uh, <laughs> You know, and I appreciate not everybody, you know, out there is uh, is going to be able to do that. But um, you know, if you're if you're like six foot plus, you could uh, with this mattress you could sleep diagonally. Um, you know, so then it gives you a bit of room because this is a short wheelbase, low top or regular top um, transit custom. Um, so I didn't want to I didn't want to make a bed, and I've got doors both sides, um, which I'll show you actually. Uh, <laughs> Excuse, excuse the dog beds. Oh, I've got these seats as well, um, which uh, which I need to fold up so I can show you the bed. So uh, I'll do that a bit quick. I'll plop you down there. So it's a pretty straightforward procedure. Um, latch it, and then you get uh, this one and fold it forward. Okay, and then that gives me um, a bit of room there. They obviously, they remove as well, which is something that I, that I wanted because I wanted the van uh, to um, let me just get this back working again. I wanted the van to be a van. I didn't want it to be um, a camper as such. You know, because obviously I've got the motorbikes, uh, so I can still get two two motorbikes. You know, and also I can get wood in the back and anything that you know anything else that I want to do. So I wanted the van to be a van. That was very important. Um, so everything I've put in is removable. Um, you know, even even um, even the seats basically. So that there's a lever at the back of these seats, just there, uh, which you pull and then that removes them out of the van. Uh, that was very important, very important for me. So once all the seats are removed, then I've got all this space here uh, to live in basically. Big problem with this van though is as soon as you touch a door, the van comes alive. Um, so it, it's very easy to flatten the battery. And it's only got the batteries underneath uh, the driver's uh, the driver's seat. Um, you can see you can see the connections just there, um, and it's only a single battery. So something I need to do is is get a double battery fitted or a twin battery system. So you know, uh, I've, I've been places and I've had the doors open and the battery's gone flat and it's a pain in the ass. One big problem with these transit customs, or the early ones, I don't know if the later ones uh, they sol solved it, but um, yeah, as soon as you touch anything, the van comes alive, uh, and there's no way of stopping that. I've discovered the only way of stopping it is, um, is you know, you know, the button you can push to turn the lights off doesn't exist. Okay, the only way to stop it is by actually latching the door, and then the van thinks it's shut. Pain in the ass. I don't know why Ford did that ridiculous ridiculous idea okay so um let me fold all these seats up bear with me oh yeah one more thing middle one middle one is uh, like a tray that so when you've got two people sitting either side um you know this the uh, the middle one you can at least put a drink down unfortunately when the bed is fully width it doesn't quite fit so i'm gonna have to build i'm gonna have to build my own bed uh, there's a company called Van Gear uh, online, which um, which make tables that fit to these runners, uh, which I, I might contact. But I've had a look on their website, and they're quite expensive. So I might I might have a go at building myself. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, I'm faffing, aren't I? <coughs> Let's faffing. Don't be looking at my ass. Charging leads. 
Okay, so the bed. Oh, yeah, I've tied it. I've tied it in so it doesn't move with bungees. Quite important when you're braking, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, as you can see, as you can see, it's a Z type mattress. All right, um, bit of cardboard. I'll explain why in a second. Okay, so the basic premise, when, I, when I've got the seats down in the back, um, I have to store it like this. The reason why I built this is so I can have the, mat, the bed and the mattress stored along here and I can still get a motorbike down this side. So if I go away with the wife, um, you know, we can go down to Switzerland or whatever. She doesn't have like hundreds and thousands of miles on the back of the GS, you know, uh, and I can take the Aprilia um, in the back of the van, get to Switzerland, um, camp in the van and have all the mountain roads on the Aprilia uh, comfy, you know, relatively comfortable. Um, that was the idea and that's what I'm going to be doing. Anyway, let's get this bed sorted out. You'll be amazed. <coughs> chuck that up there for now so when I'm traveling this bit of the bed comes over here and fits along there like that okay um, excuse the bike ramp I think I'll have to pull that out Get that out of sex. I'll carry that around just in case I come across a stricken motorcyclist. <laughs> you know, and then at least I can get him in the back. <laughs> well, that's the that's the the uh, the side of me. Uh, so uh, the runners, yes. Yeah, so because I want, wanted the bed to go all the way across, you can find lots of beds that that fold out into two bits. And they come to about here um, but because I wanted it the full width I had to build it like this okay so the wooden struts as you can see all fit nice together that mattress fits on there perfectly against the side um, and then as I say I can still I can still get a motorbike in this section so when it's pulled out it's a bit it's a bit faffy. Okay, so plenty of there. You know, it's it is what it is. When it's out, it works a treat. So two there and two there. Okay, wait, well, now you can see it goes all the way across. And then I won't bother with the other bit because it just it's taking too long. But you'll get you'll get the idea when I when I do it. Obviously I do it then with the other one. Oh actually this will demonstrate the mattress. Okay, so when I'm traveling. That goes against there, that's all up against the side, bike goes down the side. Let me just jump in here quick. What I didn't mention at all in the video was if you had a single mattress, you can either sleep across uh, like the like I've got it at the moment or lengthways. This is this is a build for a double mattress for me and the wife. If you have a single mattress, you can you can sleep on it as as it is uh, across the van or lengthways. Anyway, back to the video. OK, and then when I get to the destination, that pulls across, that folds down, uh, lovely, oh I have the cardboard, because the slats are so thin, 
um, I just put I put this this bit of cardboard on the top of the wood just to give it a little bit more strength and I've had me and the wife away you know for a week on it with no issues at all because I was concerned about the strength but if you're interested in the dimensions and that I'll uh, well it's too late now I've already built it. <laughs> um, this is stuff that I do you know I I'm terrible for it I'll go and do stuff and I should video it I'm really bad at it um, but uh, there we go so as you can see what sort of um is that three and a half by two um you know the legs are quite sturdy uh you know there you go that's the idea um nice and comfortable and then i've got a little bit of living space quite a bit of living space really when uh, when the seats the seats aren't there like i said i'm going to build a table there uh yeah, that's something I've got to do. That's something I've definitely got to do. Um, but um, anyway, I digress. That's the van. Let me know down in the comments what you think. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, it's important that I kept it as a van. I definitely didn't want, um, you know, I'd love a T5 or something like that, or a, a Transit Custom that's purpose-built, but it's... Um, this serves every purpose and like I said everything can be removed I've got a battery as well I've got a Bluetti battery uh, I think I've got a picture I haven't brought it with me today because I'm just out in the woods uh, doing uh, doing my next thing that I want to talk about uh, but uh, yeah with uh, with solar panels that, that I throw up on the roof um, <laughs> when it's sunny uh, definitely no charge in it today so yeah blue 80 battery again it's all removable i want to be able to, you know i didn't want uh you know i suppose i could wire up a, uh, a dc to dc charger in the van and have some sort of charging system in the van uh, but you know it's all stuff that that makes it attractive to to nick and i definitely didn't want to do all that so everything i wanted to be able to take out um and it's handy having the blue Etty because if someone else has got a problem you know i just grab the thing and take it over them and they can plug plug whatever in and and charge it up you know i even built built this with the bluetti i plugged the drill in and uh you know <laughs> drilled all the holes and uh and put that together using using the bluetti so so very handy very handy device indeed not cheap though bloody things so i bought that about two years ago under the Undi indiegogo scheme i don't think i'd do that again now but now they're available um you know they were what were they kickstarter back in the day uh but uh, anyway i digress uh fan build there you go actually before before i move on i move away um yeah another thing that i wanted is storage underneath um you know all my all my stuff goes under there uh, everything that i'm that i need to carry away with me uh in fact i'll demonstrate <clears throat> so like I said, you know, it's all it's all storage, you know, so I can chuck stuff under there. I've got some uh, boxes that uh, that I chuck all my cooking gear in, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it works. Let me, uh, <laughs> I'll get on and demonstrate. Even though I've got muddy boots on. <clears throat> there you go, dying fly. <laughs> Okay, that's enough talking about the van. Anyway, I want to get get the door shut before the battery goes flat. Um, this is something we're going to talk about in a minute, um, and this is potentially the future of of the channel and Kaiser. But uh, we get packed up and we get on the way. the side that goes on you get do you get what I mean about the cardboard what I use it for it just gives you that bit more reassurance 
Uh, I'm sure it's fine without that wood, but um, just in case, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want this to be a long video. I just wanted to say hi again and, and catch up. But um, there is something... Uh, I, needed, I needed a reset. I need to... Uh, I needed to... Isn't this beautiful? I hope you can hear the birds. There's something about being in a wood. Hear a little bit of the road noise in the distance, which is a shame, but anyway, let's go. Um, should we go that way? Let's go into the woods that way, off the beaten track. So uh, the future of the channel and uh, the direction I want to take it. Um, still the bikes, very much so. Still the GS, still the Aprilia. Um, but I want to get away and I've discovered, uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram, um, at Kaiser Wilhelm, um, I've discovered I like photography. Um, or, I'm not saying, I'm, well, I'm not, you know, it's something I've got to learn. I've got to learn it. Uh, I've, I've taken a few pictures and um, I, enjoy, I enjoy them, but uh, it's quite a technical, quite a technical subject and it's an excuse to go places that, that, that I sort of need um, I thought I saw something then so this is Kaiser's new hat so uh, there's a nice fallen tree just over there we're going to sit down on the log and finish the video. Yeah, I, I just, um, it's an excuse to get out in nature or force me. I've sort of, I've locked myself in the house over the last few years. Um, and you know many of you know reasons why and then the pandemic hit and then uh, the craziness of society um, I haven't enjoyed um, you know so I've become a bit of a recluse so over the last year and a half I've spent a load of money um, sold a few things sold a few things and uh, and bought a few things you know the uh, the bag, camera. Um, the still thing I need I need to sort out my moto vlogging kit because uh, I'm very disappointed with the GoPro and uh, and the mic issues I had with it. But I have a solution. I just haven't got the money right now um, because I've spent it on other things, like you do. Um, so I do have a solution for that when the when the weather gets a bit better. So um, yeah, before we go, let me show you my camera bag. Let me show you my camera bag and let me show you what I've spent my money on. So the big expense is obviously the camera and the lenses. Um, so uh, because I want to do wildlife, I need quite a long lens. 
So, um, so, uh, so I went for Sony. Now, the first thing you realise when you when you're buying cameras, and I didn't realise this, is you need to you need to go for a brand. Um, so my first camera that I bought was a Canon, you know, uh, 800D, 800, 800D, um, which I part exchanged for this one. Um, I didn't go for Canon. I don't know why. You know, it's a great brand. Um, I was going to go Nikon, but the one I wanted was too expensive. So this was the middle of the road. So this is a Sony A7 IV, Mark IV. Um, it's very good, 33 megapixel. So this is a Tamron uh, 28 to 75 f 2.8 lens. Let me just shut this up and get my, my big lens out. And my big lens. So Sony 200, 600 lens for wildlife photography. So let's see if we can spot anything. Okay, there we have it. So I'm running full manual mode because, because I want to learn. Um, sometimes switching to speed because obviously um, birds move fast. So um, I need to, uh, you know, change the speed so I can catch the, the stillness of the wings and, and the such, but um, long lens. Uh, this is quite a cool cover. Uh, so you can pop these off and you can adjust the um, 200 to 600 um, and if you're in manual focus mode you can pop these off and you can manual focus um, nice lens protector um, really cool anyway <clears throat> have I talked enough I think I probably have haven't I so the camera strap set up just unclips quite a clever system just unclips like that it's free. If you want to know any more about any of the stuff I'm carrying, by the way, let me know um, in the comments below. Right, let's keep walking. We'll have a little walk, see if we can find something. Anyway, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around, enjoy the woods. If I get any pictures, if I get any pictures, I'll put them up at the end. Because I don't think I will in this wood today. It's not uh, it's not not the best of conditions. There's not much about. Um, but I, I'm gonna do more of this. So uh, this is anyway. This is the future of the channel. Um, more camping. More photography more getting out and about uh, more bikes more van more travel more if I can afford it I mean that's always the case isn't it um, you know it's you know it is what it is I've realized is is how little I know about the woods uh, you know what trees are uh, so I bought a couple of books. Actually, I'll do a review of the books because they're really good. I bought uh, some Collins um, Wildlife and Wild Birds and uh, of Britain. Um, uh, to, so I can learn, basically. You know, it's all a learning process, isn't it? My big plan was to call it a day with um, Kaiser. Just because of stuff that's happened in the past, really. I wanted to start afresh. So I don't, I don't know. So I started up a new account called Photo Full Auto. 
new YouTube channel. There's, there's no subscribers and there's no videos on it at the moment, but um, and I started a new Instagram account called Photo Full Auto. Um, just to start afresh, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, comments down below on that, please. Oh, my kit's getting wet through. Uh, it's showerproof. I know that. Sony claim it's showerproof, but, but not waterproof. What an, what an interesting tree. It's obviously had better days, hasn't it? Broken in two, look, shattered. And now it's just resting up against this one. And now I can hear gunfires, obviously, uh, pheasants, a pheasant shoot. Probably can't hear it, it's quite a way off, thankfully. I'm just rambling now, aren't I? <laughs> okay, that's it, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for checking in on me. Um, if you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, please subscribe. Uh, and all that lovely stuff that, um, that you've got to do these days uh, to uh, to keep your channel going. Um, it won't be as long for the next one, I promise, before the rains start really opening up, which is about to do. Wind's picking up as well. That's me. Okay. Good to see you all. Thanks for checking in on me. 